In this video, we will discuss about reproduction in zingo biloba. Now, reproduction in zingo biloba take place by means of male strobili and female strobili. Plant is dioecious. Male strobili is born on different plant, male plant, and female strobili is born on different plant, female plant. So this is microsporangiate strobili. This is megasporangiate strobili. Now we can see in the figure. Now this is the picture of zingo biloba showing male strobili, and this is the picture of the zingo biloba showing ovulate strobili or female strobili, and this is the picture of zingo biloba which is bearing seeds. Now we'll discuss about its male strobili or microsporangiate strobili or male cones. Now they arise in the axilla of scale leaves or foliage leaves. So many strobili they are born in the pendulous clusters. Each microsporangiate strobilus is a loose pendulous structure. This consists of a main axis to which numerous microsporophylls or microsporangiophores they are attached, and their attachment is irregular or spiral. Now each microsporophyll bear a pair of microsporangia. Number of microsporangia sometime it may go to three or four. These are pendant microsporangia which are attached to the terminal ridge. Now each microsporophyll is having microsporangia and microsporangia will be having sporogenous tissue. Now sporogenous tissue will metamorphose to form spore mother cell. Now this is diploid in genetic constitution. Now this will undergo meiosis to form haploid spores. So we can see here again, this is the male cone which is arising on the dwarf shoot in the axil of the scale leaves or foliage leaves and this is individual male strobilus and this is individual microsporophyll with microsporangia and this is also showing the essence of the uh, microspor uh, microsporangia for the liberation of the microspores or pollen grains. We can see here, these are the pollen grains which are being liberated from the essence of the microsporangia and this is the microsporophyll showing pair of microsporangia. Now, how this microspore develops into male gametophyte? So, microspore which is produced inside the male sporangia, this produces microspores and each microspore is bounded by outer covering called as exine. Inner covering is thin called as intine. Now, this liberation of the pollen grains or microspores occurs with the help of wind. So, this is called as anemophilous pollination. Now, pollen grains of zingo biloba, they start germinating inside the microspore and they are liberated at the four cell stage from the microsporangium. Now, how does this happen? How, how cell division occurs? Now, this is the a nucleus and this is the cytoplasm and this is the outermost wall called as exine. This is intine, cytoplasm and nucleus. Now we can see here, uh, this is the first wall being cut off inside the, like here, like this, you can see like this. This will be uh, cut off as a first prothelial cell. Then there will be another cell division for the second prothelial cell this is the second prothelial cell this is called as enthridial cell so first first prothelial cell is cut off first prothelial cell and second prothelial cell is cut off this nucleus will undergo mitotic cell division now this is the this is called as enthridial cell now we have two prothelial cell and this is the enthridial cell now here we can see uh, this has started forming pollen tube this is the tube nucleus now these are two prothelial cells and this is the generative cell which is being cut off from here like cell division will take place and here again third cell will be cut off so this is called as generative cell and we have now four cells here two degenerating prothelial cell now this is generative cell and this is the tube cell this is the tube nucleus and this part is cytoplasm now this degenerating prothelial cell will degenerate and this generative cell will further divide to form stock cell and body cell. Now again pollen tube has been elongated and this is the pollen tube nucleus present inside the pollen tube. Now these prothelial cells are degenerating and or have degenerated. Stock cell will give support to the body cell. Now next step will be this pollen tube will develop into hastorial structure. Now this will become rhizoidal like this and this is also called as hastorial pollen tube. So this will help in uh, absorbing nourishment for the developing pollen grain we can see here 
this body cell this body cell will further divide into two cells like this and this will divide into two cells and we will get two cells here now here a pair of ferroplast granule will make its appearance here also and they will form a band of cilia so we can see here this is the one sperm which is having band of cilia we can see here blepharoplast granule have turned into cilia so we can see these are the sperm which have motile cilia and they will help in movement of the sperm so a sperm can swim so these are motile spermatozoid or ciliated sperms so pollen grains they are liberated at the four cell stage but they germinate after their liberation they will reach to the ovule on the ovule is present pollen chamber that we'll discuss in the next video so in the pollen chamber these microspore at the four cell start further develop into these stages which we have discussed just now and then they will produce motile spermatozoid or motile sperm then this motile spermatozoid they will reach toward the archegonia for fertilization that we'll discuss in the next video of the female strobili of the zingobiloba thank you for watching my video if you like my video please like share and subscribe